All right, so I went into detail in the last one. I'm not going to go into too much detail on this one. We're just going to start rolling with it. Now, when you think of cosecant, I want you to think of sine because sine is the inverse of cosecant. So let's first find our period and our phase shift, and then we can get busy with this. All right, the period, uh, you got to know that one half is multiplying to the x. It says one half x. Okay, so we're going to take uh, the regular period, the standard period, divide that by one half, and we get four pi. So our, sl our um, not slope, our period is four pi. Our phase shift is zero. There is no, nothing adding or subtracting to x inside of cosecant. Like it would have to be inside parentheses and stuff to be a phase shift. So because there's no phase shift, I'm going to go ahead and start my x values at zero on my cheater graph. And then for my cheater graph, so I know how to count these four spaces, I'm going to divide this whole thing, which is 4 pi, by 4. And what is 4 pi divided by 4? It's pi. So pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, and then 4 pi. Now I graph sine. Okay, graphing sine, that would be a midline. And then we're going to go up to 1.5, which is our max. And that's because of the amplitude going on right here. Back down to the midline. And then down to negative 1.5. And then back up to the midline. Now I'm going to draw a dotted line because it's not sine that we're actually graphing. We're actually graphing cosine. Now cosecant. I'm sorry, we're actually graphing cosecant. Cosecant is undefined wherever sine equals zero. Now normally... I know some of you guys got hung up on this for a second. Normally, sine is zero right here and right here. Okay, but we got to get out of the unit circle. You can't, you can't think unit circle right now because look, our period changed. Because our period changed, this is now where sine is zero. Actually, I should say it's where sine or 1.5 sine 1.5 actually doesn't have anything to do with it, but the one half times x, because there's a one half times x, that changes where sine equals zero. So these are the three spots where sine equals zero. Wherever sine is crossing the midline, that is where sine equals zero. So I'm going to draw asymptotes wherever sine is crossing the midline. Now, in this case, the midline is the x and the x axis, but that's not always the case. But um, you know, like sometimes it's a it's a three because we have a plus three at, on this. But we don't have a plus three. Um, but if if we did, the midline where sine crosses the midline, that's still where the asymptotes go. So wherever sine crosses the midline, that's where the asymptotes go. All right. So once we get that, we're pretty much done. Draw your cute little parabolas. And you're done. Now over here, we're only going from 0 to 2 pi. So that means uh, we just need the, that one asymptote at 0 and the other asymptote at 2 pi. And then we got to draw um, right there, pi 1.5. That's this one right here, pi 1.5. And then our, our um, parabola goes something like that. That's all you're going to see because... Um, the, our graph is limited here. So let's look at the range really quick. The range in our picture is only 1.5 to infinity. But all of like if I wasn't in, restricted in this range, the range or the restricted on this domain, the range for this is go also going to be negative infinity to one point negative 1.5. Okay. Oops, I don't bracket infinity signs ever. All right, the y-intercept, there is none because there's an asymptote on it. X-intercepts, there are none right there as well. And asymptotes, ooh, ooh, pay attention to asymptotes. Check this out. Our asymptotes in our picture are 0 and 2 pi. But how would I, how would I write an equation for all asymptotes? It would be x equals 0 plus... And then what's the distance between these asymptotes? 2 pi. So I'm going to say 2 pi times k. And you can make k into a 0. You can make k into a 1 or a negative 1. Whatever you make it into, that'll find the other 
asymptotes on the function 1.5 cosecant of x divided by 2.